With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question says that find the time after which the current in the circuit become 80% of its maximum value. So in this question, I have to find out the time after which current in the circuit became 80% of its maximum value. Now suppose, first we will write suppose a current I is flowing in the circuit. So this is a LR circuit. So it is our LR circuit. Now, so suppose the net current, so maximum current will be in the circuit. For maximum current, we have we can write the voltage across resistance and conductor resistance and inductor is V divided upon resistance across L plus resistance. So here V is V and resistance across L is 0.1 and the main out external resistance is 0.9. So it is our IS current will become V divided upon 1 ampere. So the value of V is its maximum current. We also know in LR circuit. In LR circuit we know in LR circuit the current is in LR circuit the current I is so I can be changed by formula IS 1 minus E raised to power minus RT divided upon L so here I is current according to question 80% of its maximum value so we can write I will become 80% of its maximum value so 80% of its maximum value its maximum value is V so we can write is equals to v 1 minus e raised to power minus rt divided upon l so by cancel v now we get an we get an equation that is 0 0.8 equals to 1 minus e raised to power minus rt divided upon l so we can write this value e raised to power minus rt upon l will become 1 minus 0 0.8 so 1 minus 0 0.8 will become 0 0.2 now manipulate the value of resistance the hence here resistance is 0 0.9 and uh, value of l is 10 so we can write the value as net resistance is 1 and value of l is 100 so we can write the value as e raised to power minus it will become 0 0.1 plus 1 that will become 1 and t is t l is 10 l is 10 milli henry so 10 into 10 days to power minus 3 will become 0 0.2 so we can write the value as e raised to power it will become e raised to power minus 100 t equals to 0 0.2 now taking log both side so after taking log both side we can write the value as after taking the logarithmic function both side so we can write the value as equals to e raised to power minus 100 t first we will write e raised to power minus 100 t it will become 1 upon 5 now cross multiply after cross multiplication we can write 5 equals to e raised to power minus it will become plus 100 t so 100 t equals to ln 5 hence t will become ln 5 upon 100 so it is our answer so at this time the current will become 80% of its maximum value. That is option C. Hence, option C is right. I hope you understood this explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.